Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. In today's video, again, five amazing Bitcoin charts, a trading tip that will really help you, a travel tip. Yes, of course, talking about the news as something really cool happened, giving an answer to one of the questions of the followers, and yes, also ending it with an inspirational quote. Yes, all while walking here on this beautiful boulevard in Torre Vieja, Spain, guys. Trying to do a walk and talk again instead of standing there. The sun is a little bit lower. I got up a little bit more early, so maybe this will work, guys. Now, let's quickly jump into the charts to show you exactly what is happening to Bitcoin today. Oh, and by the way, there is a beautiful sunrise, guys. Check it. I don't know if you can see it. But the sunrise is amazing again. Early. Very early. All for you guys. All for you guys. Beautiful sunrise. Let's go into the charts now. The first chart for today, guys, is this four hour chart. Like I showed you yesterday, it was a buy signal, but we didn't close any candles above that stepping line, so that's why we didn't take it. And now again, a buy signal over there, but the candle needs to be closing above that yellow stepping line before we will be able to take that trade. We can see that the green line here in the bottom is moving above that orange line. It's trying to move above it. That's very positive. We can also see here at the bottom that blue is decreasing, the yellow is decreasing, so there will come a period of green hills. And here, of course, that white line is still curling up and yes we have a blue line above it so we don't have any confirmations yet uh, to take this trade please wait for um, at least a triple confirmation like the candle closing above it the white line being above it and green hills that's the most strongest confirmation of um, taking this bullish trade again you don't want to miss this trade because maybe this trade will even extend to that 80k level where we should be going but i will show you that later on some other beautiful charts that i found on twitter guys let's jump into those charts this is the first chart guys this chart is a very important one guys this is a volatility and support chart this one shows you when we are bored and we are bored at the moment because over here we can see there is low volatility so it's like a boredom zone the same low volatility area was over there it was very boring same over here it was very boring same over there it was very boring every time when we get into this pinkish area that's an area that we are a little bit bored that doesn't mean we will move up if you look to this one it was very boring when it became less boring we had a huge dump over here when it was boring and when it became less boring we had a huge pump so if you look closer at the chart guys you will see that over here we have 15 days of boredom people are very bored and then the price starts to go up and then bam we go into 150 days of not that boring very bullish moves and bitcoin going up then again we had 41 days very boring then 46 days less boring then we have here again 80 days boring it's boring and around the support zones. Then bam, over here, 176 days excitement expansion. So every time when it's boring for a couple of weeks, after that will come a huge move. We are finding support, as you can see over here now, on the 20 week EMA. Every time, 20 week EMA, 20 week EMA, 20 week EMA. It was now very boring for 42 days. It can still be boring for another 40 days like it was over here. 80 days of boring. But if we break out of this boring area, which it seems wanting to do, because we can see they were walking towards the top of that square. And if we break out, then we get a whole period again of excitement and expansion. And that will be that move from these areas, 60K, to 80K or even higher. So yes... The less boring it will become, we will leave that boredom area and we will go again into this huge run for Bitcoin. Another cool chart that I found on Twitter is this one. This is on a four hour chart and it's just showing us a fractal that happened over there in February. In February, we had a fractal that showed us a little bit of sideways movement and we went up, then we went down. And then after that purple move, the downwards move, we went up tremendously. Now again, we see exactly the same fractal playing out. Sideways here, we went up and then down. And now if we would copy that previous move, we would go up to that 80 to 90K level. So these fractals not always play out, but it's always nice to look at them. They look like each other, these green circles. That purple is also looking exactly the same. 
now we should be doing this red move. And the red move till now was also looking pretty the same. So we need a jump now to that ADK level. That's what we are all waiting for. That is also shown on this chart. There's a daily chart. I found this also on Twitter, El Crypto Prof. Um, we can see this fractal that we see over here, that pattern, and it often plays out the way that we see in that image. So we have that same pattern over here where we are inside this pattern. And yes, we are creating the same kind of structure inside it over here. Like, look, this one, this one, a little bit lower, then again, a little bit higher, and then again, a little bit higher. And from that moment, we should do that explosive move. Just look to that image in the top. This one, lower, lower, a little bit higher, move. So exactly the same, lower, 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 move. This is what needs to happen. 80K, there's a one day chart, so it can take a couple of days, but that's of course another prediction if you look at the normal patterns and how they play out. On this one, we zoom out a little bit. This one is showing you where we are at the moment. The top one is the bull market 2011 till 2013. You can see 2011, 12, and 13 over there. That bull market stretched a little bit because it was one of the first ones. The second one was 2014, 15, 16, and 17. Then after that, we got the 2018 bear market, 2019 bear market, and we went up a little bit, you know, from 3K to 14K. We came down again, COVID crash, and bam, we went up to the top in 2021. Now, after 2021, we went in the 2022 bear market, 23 bear market, went up again towards the halving. This is exactly where we are. We are in the bull run, but not in the huge bull yet. Because every time that fourth image, this one, was the massive run. That one was the massive run. This one was the massive run. That one, 2025, will be that massive run. And yes, 2024 definitely will also go higher than we are now. We will end up somewhere here in this area before we go into 2025 this area just like we did there just like we did there just like we did there and we will take it to an all-time high in 2025 how would that look then just like i'm showing you on this chart this one i found on the scalping pro we have an all-time high we have a bear market we have a bottom we have sideways movements and we have a bull market we have another all-time high and again that bear market Again, that bottom that I told you to buy, 16,000, I told you to buy, I told you we would not go to 12K. That was the bottom, just like I told you to buy this 3K bottom. For those that listened, are now in this very boring phase of a little bit sideways, a little bit up. Of course, we went here from 16K already now to 70K, so that's already times four almost for most of you. But still, we are just in that bull market. We still need to reach an all-time high. In my opinion, between 120 and 160K, it could even extend to 270k, as you see here, if you would follow this pattern. But after that, guys, in 2025, that bear market will start and we'll find a new bottom around 2026, 27 again. Just be aware of these moves in Bitcoin. It is every time the same. It's a four-year cycle, top in 2017, December, top here, 2021, November, top here, 2025, probably September, October but can also extend to December, we don't know. But then 12 month bear market, you will be able to buy back between 50 and 100K in the next bear market bottom. So buying at these levels now, one will give you a shitload of profit, and yes, two could be the last time that you will be able to buy Bitcoin below 70K for more than 12 months, guys. So yes, these prices are still beautiful accumulation prices. I hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. And yes, like you can see in the short term, that was a beautiful trade setup again. Yes, because of the volatility dropping to 67K, now again back to 68K. Beautiful uh, volatility on that short term Bitcoin chart, which is amazing to trade, guys. Long term, you can also see and understand that we are about to make another huge move. It won't take too long anymore. It can take one week, it can take two weeks. Maybe it can even take a month. But that is nothing compared to the move that we are going to see. So make sure that during these dips in Bitcoin that we see around 67K, maybe even 66K, that you dollar cost average into Bitcoin. These might be the last moments for the next 12 months that you will be able to buy Bitcoin below 70,000 US dollar. I do believe that when we go above 70K again, and there will be a time that we won't come down below 70K anymore before that we had that huge bull market. And maybe even during the new bear market, we will only drop to 63K. 
as that was the halving price. And we have never gone lower than the previous halving after a bull market. So just understand that accumulating Bitcoin around these prices is still an amazing moment to buy Bitcoin below 70K, guys. Now, let's jump into the trading tip. Today's trading tip is very simple. Buy Bitcoin below 70K because it might be the last time. And if you want to buy Bitcoin, then buy Bitcoin either on Bybit or on Blowfin at the moment because they have amazing promotions. On Bybit, they are doing a giveaway of 100,000 US dollar. Yes, you can even win tickets to the Formula One. So there's a lot of prizes now that you can win on Bybit. And yes, a normal bonus is already 30,000 US dollar. So you have a sign up bonus of 30,000 dollar up to 30,000 US dollar. And you can claim one of these prizes up to 100,000 US dollar plus Formula One tickets, etc. Blowfin at the moment has also an amazing opportunity. You get a 10% deposit bonus. Depositing 10K, you get $1,000 deposit bonus. Depositing 20K, you get $2,000 deposit bonus. Aside of the deposit bonus on Blowfin, you can win a Rolex, you can win a MacBook, you can win earpods, you can win an Apple Vision Pro, and yes, you can even win a 10K worth Rolex. So yes, there is a lot of prizes also on Blowfin, plus a beautiful sign-up bonus. I will in the weekend also have a special bonus for people that sign up to Blowfin, so be sure that you use that link as well, guys. So the trading tip for today is accumulate as much as possible Bitcoin below 70K because there might be a moment you for the next 12 months won't be able to do that anymore, guys. And use Bybit or Blowfin, or if you want to trade completely decentralized, then start to use Apex Pro because they will soon launch the Omni Pro version and that Omni Pro version already is beta testing and you can already win a lot of prizes by using Apex Pro now. So those three, Bybit, Blowfin and Apex Pro should be the ones that you use to accumulate Bitcoin and to trade Bitcoin. Okay, I needed to stop the video as uh, somebody came up to me and asked me, uh, are you filming? I was afraid that he, he meant that I was filming him because some people don't recognize that this is the Osmo Pocket Pro and they just don't know, oh shit, uh, he's filming himself, he, he might be filming me. So I was like, uh, no, 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 I'm not filming you, I'm just filming myself. He's like, no, 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 I follow you, I'm a follower. Uh, I know that you film yourself, I'm amazing, can I make a selfie? Uh, a little bit chat about Bitcoin, blockchain and life and why I chose uh, Torre Vieja and uh, what he's doing here and all that stuff. So it was a great chat. Uh, the image is again getting darker, guys. So we'll go back to my beautiful spot there so you have a better image. Jolie and Juna just came back from sporting, as you can see over there. Wow, they are back really early. Yeah, it's now 7 a.m. They just came back from gym. So they went at 6 a.m. already. So um, I will put my camera over there again and start recording the rest of the video there. What, do you want to say something? Yes, I'm going to say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I think Gina had some Red Bull or something for the gym. <laughs> the travel tip for today, guys, is walk. Walk as much as possible, as early as possible, because every time when I walk here and I've seen that sunrise, that's just an amazing moment. And you always will meet people that are all the also early birds that you were, uh, you know, that you do want to talk about a little bit about Bitcoin, blockchain life, or anything else, maybe about Spain or coffee, whatever you want to talk about. But walking during your traveling is the best way to discover a country. Yes, you can take a motorbike, yes, you can take a car, yes, you can take a train yes you can take all of that stuff but that's like just not as cool as walking because with walking you slow down you pace down and because of that you will see more beautiful things you will experience more beautiful things you will meet more people because just imagine driving on a motorbike you just drive you, you, you don't even see the people or speak to the people but if you start to walk you have the time to say hello good morning or bom dia or buenos dias or somebody cup in Thailand, you know? And that is how you connect with people, by looking them in the eyes when you walk on the streets. So the travel tip for the day is walk as much as possible, as as early as possible, because walking during the sunrise gives you a shitload of energy, a beautiful energy boost to start that amazing day again. So travel tip, walk a lot. To answer the question of one of the followers, guys, yes, there was another question about that Mt. Gox, because I said in one video, um, yes, there's 138,000 Bitcoins at Mt. Gox that are moving to another wallet, um, and I don't think they will, they will be dumped. So there is a person saying, yeah, why wouldn't they be dumping? You know, they, they, they probably will dump, because they've been waiting so long for the Bitcoins to come free, and now they get their Bitcoins, they make a shit of the profit, and, and they probably will dump. I don't think they will dump. Just understand that these people that bought on Mount Gox 
are people that really are early believers of Bitcoins. They believed in Bitcoin when the most of us didn't even know that Bitcoin already was there. And that is the moment they start to buy Bitcoin because they believed in Bitcoin. I believe of the last like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years of waiting for their Bitcoins, they educated themselves even more on Bitcoin. They didn't start to hate Bitcoin more, they started to hate Mt. Gox because they stole their Bitcoins. But they always had to believe, okay, I will get a part of my Bitcoins back. But more important, those people were already part of this Bitcoin industry before most of us were. And they started to educate themselves more and they probably bought a shitload of more Bitcoins during this phase. Not at Mt. Gox, but probably at other exchanges. So we're talking about hardcore believers. And of course, 10, 15, maybe 20% of those people will sell their Bitcoins, but that's not creating any selling pressure. Even if 130,000 Bitcoins were being sold, that's not creating any selling pressure in a market where only the spot ETF, only the spot ETF already accumulated 1 million Bitcoins in five months time. So do you think that 130,000 Bitcoins selling pressure is selling pressure? There's nothing. They will be bought up very simply and very easily, guys. So one, I do think they are really Bitcoiners and they don't want to sell their Bitcoins. They even will get their Bitcoin cash like, because that was a hard fork. So maybe they will sell a little bit, little bit of Bitcoin cash. Maybe they even believe more in Bitcoin cash now because that is like maybe a little bit more related to the Bitcoin that they bought at that time. You never know. Maybe they hold everything, but I don't think they collectively will dump. And even if they would dump, guys, it wouldn't do anything to the market. It will be bought up like this. Now let's jump into the next part. Guys, before I jump into the news, I still need to do the giveaway of the live AMA t-shirts. It's around like 10 t-shirts I still need to give away. I will do it today. I will go into the live AMAs of last weekend and I will uh, see which comments were the most funny ones. And the most funny ones, I will uh, give away like around 10 t-shirts, five t-shirts to the English ones and five t-shirts to the Dutch ones. So be sure that you check your comments down below those videos because I will reply to your comment that you are one of the winners of those t-shirts, guys. And then you'll be able to get a really cool t-shirt out of our shop, just like this one, to be or not to be guys. The news for today is that MasterCard credentials is going live soon. And this is a huge step for crypto adoption as this is the first credit card company that now is going to integrate Bitcoin fully and make it possible for their MasterCard clients to send Bitcoins from one person to another person by using the name not by using a huge blockchain address. You will be able to send Bitcoins to another person on MasterCard by using the name instead of a blockchain address. So that's a huge, huge step uh, when it comes to Bitcoin. For me, it's not a step that I'm going to take because I don't have any MasterCard like exclusively. Yes, I do have my Bybit card, which is also MasterCard supported. And I do have my Wirex, which is Visa card and all that stuff. But I don't have like a real MasterCard because I don't have a bank account or I can't do real KYC. And that is a very centralized way. So I'm a little bit afraid that whenever people will start to use that and connect their Bitcoin addresses to their MasterCard, that also there will be a lot of insight in who is owning which coin with Bitcoin addresses. Even if you are a MasterCard client, a MasterCloud credential client that wants to send Bitcoin to me, do you need to tell them that you're sending Bitcoins to Didi? So when you send Bitcoins from one wallet in MasterCard, to my wallet outside of MasterCard, do you need to tell them, hey, that Bitcoin address belongs, for example, to Didi? And then MasterCard gets this huge database of who in the world owns which Bitcoin addresses, and I just don't want that to happen. I need Bitcoin to stay a little bit more private than that, guys. But still, huge news, because it will simplify the use of Bitcoin for a shitload of people, the shitload of MasterCard clients. And again, it's a confirmation that MasterCard, Visa, the banking system, the governments, the institutional investors, all of those start to believe in Bitcoin, start to understand Bitcoin and start to integrate Bitcoin into their daily products. And that's something big for Bitcoin, of course. That's a confirmation that Bitcoin is not going to die. It's not going to go anywhere, but up, up, up. And yes, the adoption and the usage will become simpler and simpler every time again because of these companies simplifying the usage for their clients. Huge news, MasterCard credentials going live soon. The inspirational part for the day, guys, is all about to be or not to be. But the most important part about to be or not to be is that it all starts with you loving yourself, then everything else will fall into place, guys. It's all about you loving yourself. 
it's not about all those other people needing to love you. I know that you're all impressing a lot of people around you and hope that they will all love you. But that's not the most important part. The most important part is that you love yourself. You need to start loving yourself for who you are, for what you do, for what you achieve in life. That is important. Not what other people think, not all other people's opinion, not what the government thinks, not what the teacher of your school thinks, not what the trainer of your football club thinks. All of those opinions, they don't matter. You must start not giving a shit about all of those opinions. You need to start to give a shit about your own opinion about yourself. Look into the mirror and talk to yourself and ask yourself, do I really love that person that I'm seeing? And if you're not in love with yourself, then life will be a huge struggle. It all starts with loving yourself for what you do. Appreciating everything about yourself. It's very simple. Just take the time to look really deep inside of yourself if you're happy the way you are. And if the answer is no, the honest answer is no, then you need to start working on yourself so that you will be able to love yourself. Because the moment you start to love yourself for who you are, for how you look, for what you do, that's the moment when the rest all falls into place. That is when the energy starts to flow. That is when you attract all those people, all those opportunities that you need to attract. But it all starts with yourself. You need to start loving and liking what you do or who you are. And don't give a fuck about all those opinions, about all those people, about all those companies, about all those centralized entities, governments. Don't give a fuck about what they think. Give a fuck about what you think about yourself. The most important thing. Yes, it is important that your wife loves you. Yes, it's important that your kids love you. But it's all less important than that you love yourself. You need to start loving yourself for the person who you are appreciating yourself. The moment that that will happen, guys, everything will fall into place. Because that is the moment also that you become strong enough to make certain choices in life and changes in life. Most of people want to change, but are afraid to change. And they are afraid to change because they are not convinced of their own power, of their own love. The moment you love yourself for who you are, understand who you are, and appreciate who you are, and really see the strengths you have within you, that is the moment you will be able to change life. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, please give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about all the tips? What do you think about the inspirational quote? I wish you an amazing, what day is it? Thursday, I think. Uh, hopefully to see you tomorrow again at another video on Friday morning. Bye-bye.